Dozier and the Texas State transfer Calvin Hill in the backfield on second down and seven. The hitch, Dozier, second catch already, makes a man miss and gets the first down. A couple of quick throws from Stewart in the early going for 11 yards. He looks to pass his third time, and this is complete to Colin Sullivan, who's knocked out of bounds around the 45. Six foot two, 200 pounds. Stewart so far three for three through the year. Now a handoff, Dozier, SMU ready. Tackle for loss, Jonathan Jefferson, Georgia transfer from Douglasville, Georgia. Maybe to get this HCU off schedule. Let's see if they can can combat this tackle for loss and keep the chains moving. The money they've raised, $159 million since announcing that move one year ago tomorrow. Forgone the first nine years of TV revenue from the ACC. Jake Bailey gets the first down grab for SMU. 1987, last time SMU was in a power conference. It was the old days of the Southwest Conference, which has been long defunct. Rashard Smith gets the handoff on second and five and muscles his way. For a short gain, this at a third and short gain of four. And on third and one, Smith gets the call. First down and more. And putting on the Jets down the sideline. Smith just passed the HCU 30. Caleb King, Xavier Tolliver finally made the stop. Not before a gain of 47. Every offense needs some semblance of balance. And I'm telling you right now, number one can pick them up and put them down. There's the vision to find it as well. They spread you out. There's going to be running lanes all. From the Husky 28, first and 10. Stone will look to throw with time. Lobbing it to the end zone. Catch made. Touchdown. Jordan Hudson, junior from Garland, Texas. A 28-yard strike from Preston Stone. Put up beautifully. It is now 6-0. But the ponies. Intentionally, we'll see multiple quarterbacks for both teams today. Jesse Valenzuela able to get it outside after contact, but still brought down for a loss. Kobe Wilson there at a loss of one to set up second and 11. Stewart rolls out, chased, and fires down the sideline, and the coverage intercepted. As you see the rollout away from pressure, puts it up. This is a 50-50 ball. No panicking, looking back when the receiver looks back, and he completes the play by making the catch under duress. But Lashley says we're going to take our time figuring it out, the dynamic between Stone and Jennings, who obviously has the respect of their teammates by being named team captain. You get named captain. And they talked about his work ethic. I like the way he worked that ball carrier right there. Blitz. Jennings. Gets away initially, and a second time. Now room to run. That's the athleticism of the sophomore from South Oak Cliff. Vivian Hargrove thought he had the sack for a big loss. Instead, the game for Jennings is set up third and ten. With time, up the middle, catch made. Roger Daniels, Jr. Past the HCU 40 and to the sideline. Wrestled out of bounds, and a flag. Gain of 22, and they'll pin on 15 more. Ashton Williams, the HCU corner, will be called for this penalty. Jennings, I mean, that, that's beautiful right there. Excellent catch in front of the guy. And when you're that accurate with the football, David, it allows your receiver to catch the football and run with it in stride. That's excellent play there. Let's see if we can look at the extracurricular. The throw, uh, well, look, I mean, this is still football. Gives us some new the ball at the HCU 37. First and 10. Jennings scrambling again. Ahead of the line to scrimmage, but with plenty of room to run. And he'll slide down right around the red zone. First and 10. Hand off. And this is Roger Daniels from the backfield. SMU averaging 52 points a game at home last season. Looking to tack on their second touchdown. Jennings with the keeper. Past the 10. Spinning past the 5. And brought down just a couple of yards shy of the goal line. Just to defend Jennings. Samir Cobb saved the touchdown. Now Brashard Smith the carry. Across the goal line for the touchdown. Back-to-back -to -back touchdowns for the Ponies. And a 12-0 lead in the first. The offensive line is starting to, to get lathered up. Has to be happy right now. Now think about the start they had last week, right? It was not a great start. They didn't get going. Unbelievable. It was sort of a March Madness, what, in January? Obviously, it means teams don't have to run the table to make the playoff like so many seasons, but such a different dynamic, and that is going to be a lot of fun starting December 20th. Nice job of blocking. I mean, that's what you want. You want your 
return man untouched through the first wave. This is his first competitive down of football since 2020 when he led Argyle High School to a Texas High School Football State Championship. Third and seven. I get him blocked. Rodgers pressured, sacked. Isaiah Smith. So far, SMU just one penalty after 11 in the win at Nevada last week. Brett Lashley called it the most undisciplined game he's ever seen an SMU team play in his tenure as head coach. Daniels just ahead of the 25 with space and speed, cutting it inside and then trips up over his own feet. Just shy of the 45. And the question is, can they carry that over to ACC? If they can run the football effectively, it'll be close. Four explosive plays in the first quarter for SMU tonight. Kevin Jennings, second drive at quarterback. Talking about exactly what they want to run. Richard Smith stays on his feet. First down past the HCU 45. That's a new rule this year where you can have in the FBS in helmet communication. The coach is coaching him up on the look what he's getting and what he can look for when the ball is snapped. Blitz, Smith upends the blitzer, and the throw to Jake Bailey for the first down, brought down just shy of the 20. Beautiful pickup right there, but look at look at Jennings. I mean, that's a really good pass from a guy who is no... Braden Hay, who was upended by Smith. Jennings takes the handoff to him, skips, scatters, and skips his way a little more to the 10. That's the first down, first and goal from the 10. Richard Smith to the outside, makes a man miss. Makes two, a third man miss as well before finally being brought down. A four-star product out of Miami. Smith gets the call again, touchdown. His second of the evening, the Ponies are dominating in its first ever home football game as an ACC member. It's 19 to nothing. Jay Rogers, second drive at quarterback for HCU. Pressured on second down, and sack, thrown down, ball loose, recovered. Give me a six, six. Five, oh, and the big fella has the touchdown. Oh, oh. Tank Booker. After the Jafari Harvey hit, Booker picks up the fumble and rumbles in for the scoop and score. I love it. There's the hit. Now, what we can't see is the ball already moving. If it's jarred and moving right now, that's a fumble. We can't see it from that angle. Ball's on the ground, obviously, right there. Let's see if he maintains possession. That ball is moving. Does he have possession there? Uh, maybe. He's clamping down. I think it starts to wiggle out just before he hits the ground. Now, the call in the field is a fumble. That means it has to be indisputable visual evidence that the call in the field is incorrect. I'm not sure that rises to that level, David. I, I think they're going to probably say that the call in the field stands. Two-point attempt. Let's try to make it 28-0. L.J. Johnson does get the call. And he's in. Are able to see C.J. Rogers later in the game, but Jason Bechtel, ACU's head coach, said both Stewart and Rogers deserve the play. Deuce McMillan on the grab and a gain of eight. Jonathan McGill on the tackle. L.J. Johnson, burst of speed, another explosive play for this Mustang offense. Johnson passed the 50 and brought down in Husky territory. Gain of 35. Booker Jackson, I'm David Salzman. Opponents with the ball, second down and 10. And coming the other way, this is Brashard Smith with Preston Stone leading the way. That's the sixth explosive play already for the Ponies in this game. And Smith is in the red zone. How about the vision? Eric Dickinson, I hope you're watching. Watch start one way, puts his foot in the ground, and now it's all him. Brashard Smith has got some electric juice. Tougher defense coming later, but this is nice. From the 15, first and 10, Smith again. Two touchdown runs in the first quarter. 28-0 still the score, second and goal for SMU from the five. Stone, quicker throw this time, Bailey there again. This time he makes the grab for the touchdown. Behind in the fourth to knock off Nevada last week. No such trouble so far in University Park. I go Max Protect you. This pass rush has been a demon. Blitz, Stewart. Keeps it down the sideline, has a man, oh. and the great grab made. Had to change direction toward the sideline. But Cutter stayed in, and look at that catch right there. I mean,
Stewart fakes the pitch, scrambles, throws to the end zone, caught, touchdown. Was he ahead of the line of scrimmage when he threw the football? There's no flag. That's a Deuce McMillan score. The great Willie Mays is loving that. Now watch him work it. Went with the pump fake, didn't panic, started to run, saw a color cross his face, and Deuce McMillan is Johnny on the spot. I mean, that's, that is, you don't teach that. That's Huskies, their first score of the young season. On the return, leaning forward is Keyshawn Smith. Brought down just shy of the 30 for a return. Until now, he gets the pitch from Stone. And Maryland, the hero of the win at Nevada one week ago, brought down by Xavier Tolliver. Stone will throw on first and ten. Scrambling to his left. And with room, he is an underestimated runner. Easily enough for the first gain of 11, Cameron Snow forced him out. Nine first and ten. L.J. Johnson to carry. His first downs for good yards. That one for six, Braden Hay made the tackle. Bunny scored 16 in the fourth for the win. Johnson, oh, smack down, ball loose on the turf. Still loose, and HCU has recovered. Huskies forced the turnover. Johnson smacked down to the turf. Hay recovers the fumble. Zaytik McGee with a hit. So far today, third and five. Jennings dumps it off. Brinson the catch, breaks a tackle, first down. Knocked out of bounds around the 35. Second and 10, handoff as Bouchard Smith cuts it to the outside. And, oh, it takes a smack down. When they're both voted team captains and when they both performed so well last season, perhaps it's a good problem to have, if it's a problem at all. Third down at 11, and SMU will be stopped short on the dump off. The ACC, any conference play, you're going to see a heightened level of intensity. Now, I, I played at Penn State when we were independents early in my career, and we finished off. I played in the first team that played in the Big Ten, and what was really stunning to me, top to bottom, the intensity level. Against Florida State, Seminoles 0-1 in league play, losing to Georgia Tech in Dublin a week uh -oh. ago. On the tip, interception. Second turnover forced by the SMU defensive front. Look at Club Takeaway's third of the day. First of all, if you can't get there, get your hands up. So his D-line mate tipped the ball, Mike Lockhart, and he tipped it to his other big fella. Jennings, the quarterback, LJ Johnson, the first down carry from the 42. First in the league in scoring defense, defensive touchdowns, one of the top teams in the league and forcing those turnovers. A third down run on third and two is enough to move the change. Johnson again gains four. First and 15 pitch. And this is Keyshawn Smith breaking free down the sideline into the end zone for the score. The senior from San Diego, California puts on the Jets for the 35 yard jump. Acceleration from number nine as he turns this corner. There are angles from these defenders. He's running past them. That is flat flying, folks. I've never gone that fast unless I was in the car. He's a terrific player, and he's had a great journey. He's the type of player you want to root for because he's gone through some things, but now he's shown up in a big way. Preseason conference player of the year. Dozier on the return. Each force turnover, three so far on the offense doing its job. 372 yards of offense. But just under five minutes left in the first half. First down carry and nothing doing for Valenzuela, swarmed by the Mustang defense. The schedule could favor SMU this season if the preseason poll holds up. Third and 13, Jesse Valenzuela, the catch, and the scramble to the sideline for the first down. Knocked out of bounds around the 40, chased out by A.J. Davis. Some big plays as they get in conference play. That's just a great job of keeping your head under pressure by Cutter Stewart and 
hitting your check down lead. Just got the snap off on second and nine. Valenzuela squeezing through past the 45 and dragging his way to midfield. It's probably enough for the first. He took Jonathan McGill with him for a couple of yards and a gain of nine. Yeah, that was really showing me something. That was an excellent cut. 94 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. Yeah, that Rodgers injury is probably one of the worst things that's happened all day. You hate to see a guy get hurt at any time, especially in a game like this. Calvin Hill, the Texas State transfer, gets the first down carry. And a nice gain to the 30, gain of five against FIU back in 2022. Second and five, Hill, good hesitation. And a burst of speed to get the first down to the 36, gain of six. The came one-sided HCU is really using up a lot of clock between plays. They get the snap off here with four on the play clock. And Hill here on first and 10, nowhere to go, a loss come from behind victory, had 124 yards passing in the fourth, but has not had to be busy today. Just saw the numbers, 407 passing, 48 yards. And Zane Miners gets the first carry on this drive for SMU. So SMU was down 11 going into that fourth quarter. RJ Maryland was the hero, four catches for 116 yards in that fourth and 162 yards receiving overall. Stone and Maryland connecting four times in that fourth. Knows how to run routes. He's on the field here, but Stone looks the other way, and after scrambling, has Jake Bailey for the catch. Staying on his feet for an extra yard. Just past the HCU 45, but what a job by Preston Stone to find time and then find Bailey for 32. But also the other thing is extending plays. Eighth explosive play for SMU tonight, and now Miners tripped up and hit the ground hard. He might have gotten hurt on that hit. Snap it quick on third and two, and Daniels is not able to get the first down. Tripped up just a gain of one. Ravante Blow Jr. from nearby Denton, Texas makes the tackle. Daniels. Cuts it to the outside and then back inside for the first and dives forward to the 25-yard line. All the effort of the senior from Duncanville, Texas, Roger Daniels, Jr. The change in college football. This is a 5'9", 186-pound athlete. Found a hole and exploded it. Let Xavier Tolliver in his wake for 11. Here's the first carry for Derek McFall, true freshman from Tyler, Texas. Gets into the red zone. Fresh legs. <laughs> Boy, these kids got some juice too. Seeing his guys, getting them some experience. That, that's one of the biggest, most important things when you have this type of matchup. And Here goes McFall into the end zone. <laughs> that's right. Two carries to begin his SMU career. The second, a 17-yard touchdown. Front side's there. Finds the hole, keeps his feet up. No wrapping to be found by the defense. Third and nine. Stewart in the pocket, flips it out. Dozier and straight ahead gets the first down. As he knocks his way to the 44 to move the chains. Gain of 14. Five non-conference games for HCU before they begin Southland play. Dozier. Nice cut. Still going and then finally tripped up. He might have gone the distance. Abdul Muhammad made the tackle from behind, but Jim Dozier showing why he's on the Jerry Rice Award watch list for the best player in the FCS. What does that mean? I mean, it sounds silly, but that means allow your eyes to stay open. Don't run the darkness. And Biggest for Dozier on the ground tonight. They get another chance and nowhere to go. Smith on the stop. Loss of one. The scrimmage. Watch the penetration. Make him cut back, but then... You need the cavalry. What's your thought overall on the number out of the ACC? I think if you're asking for any more than two, that, that's a tough proposition. I mean, if, you, if, you, if I'm looking at a crystal ball, consistently harass a quarterback, but well, that really gets in your mind. Fourth and seven. Stewart fires and too hard incomplete. HCU just turned the ball over on down. And you're physical on both lines, uh, both sides of the line of scrimmage. That travels, right? You can play on the road if you've got a dominant offensive line and defensive line. Uh, and, and so they really physically took it to Florida State. Their backs ran hard. And you know, Nick Saban said that he thought Georgia Tech would be. Burst of speed, McFall, touchdown already today. This time gets past the HCU 30. It's 12 more yards before an Ashton Williams tackle. It's because you just never know. You're always one play away from your backups being the most important players. Jennings, quick fire. 
Adam Moore the catch, the backup tight end, sophomore from Miami, Florida. You know, I always push back on early season strength of schedule predictions because you just never know. Every season is different. You, you know, your tendency to look back, to look forward. Well, you know, every every team's brand new team with portal and all that stuff. And I mean, look, you just look at Georgia Tech. No one. DJ Uyunglele has plenty of college football experience, but that was his first game at Florida State last week, and he struggled. More wide open for this grab, and looks to be enough for the first. That's a third down conversion in SMU. Now in the red zone. Uh, so again, this is that's what I'm talking about. You, every every year's different. New players transfer portal change the outlook for a lot of a lot of teams. Second down, McFall. Loss. Braden has been active today. The junior linebacker from KD Texas. SMU over 500 yards total offense, wanting more. Jennings fires. Oh, nice grab. Having to turn around to make that catch. The tough play and catch by Carter Campbell. You think he doesn't know how to be a pro? Third and goal. Jennings, the keeper, cuts it inside, strolls into the end zone. Six more for SMU. A six yard run. So the use of Jennings is just, again, another thought for every opponent. There's going to be, as I mentioned before, give some love to this offense. Great first great catch on the snap. But this offensive line has been excellent all night. They're big and they're physical. You didn't, haven't seen a lot of mental mistakes. They've moved some people around. And there's been room to run for multiple guys. Seal block by number 54, Savion Bird. Oklahoma here tonight. Champ Dozier, fair catch, moves the ball forward to the 25. And on this first down handoff, it's Calvin Hill who will scoot his way past the 30. Talking about ACU. Hill, unable to get to the edge, swarmed down Ooh, by this SMU defense. Some extracurricular activity afterwards, but no flags. In the, in the era of the portal and NIL, you've got to spend money to get the athletes that you need to compete on a high level. Keldrick Luster is a quarterback for SMU, Richard, freshman from told that already expected to be a capacity crowd. McFall as they go for it and fourth gets enough for the first. Because they'll have the chance at a conference title or at least an at-large berth. 12 team playoffs, expanded playoffs, make sports better. Lester is able to get away from pressure and on his feet showing his wheels, high stepping two <laughs> and staying in bounds. Brought down around the 30. He gained 17 and made it look fun. Ravante Blow. Was able to get into the backfield, but couldn't bring Luster down. Yeah, there's the little duck over right there. But look how thick he is in the lower body. I mean, you've got to wrap your arms and tackle Official this guy. Official stop out to repair the chains. Graphic highlights again. To me, it's about defense in this new conference. Luster on third down and nine. Scooting forward. First down and more. Past the 15. He continues to be impressive with his wheel. He is... A guy that can run with vision. He's got some athleticism and do it cut. And again, he's a tough tackle at the point of contact. He's not going to go down easily like a, a normal zillion and with competitors. And so they competed all the way to the end. They pull out a win. Rodgers hit from 52 and 43 last week. That from 23 easily through. On first down, a sack right off the bat. And of course, going back to 1987, first program to receive the death penalty. It's taken them almost 40 years to get back to power conference football since. But again, another quick point about that. I, I think that the college football playoff has also been a big boon for the group of five. I mean, now you've got, you can sell to your uh, recruits that we have a real path.